So in wanting to make a handle for the 5-axis fi stop, uh, I was thinking brass because it looks nice with the steel. Uh, so my machinist buddy graciously donated a piece of brass for me to use with this. Uh, I wanted to make something pretty similar to the quick sketch here. Dome top for comfort, uh, little stem and uh, to raise it up from the clamping uh, washers. And uh, But the piece he gave me is an uh, inch and a half. I was looking for something more like two inches for a bit of grip and a bit of torque. Uh, so I think rummaging around I found a piece of stainless that's uh, left over from a job so I think what I may do is do a press fit of this over top of the brass and have a stainless ring and we'll do a fluting on the outside of the ring and uh, just try to combine a couple of metals and make it look really nice and so to, to fit this on there right now it's 1.282 so I'll do a I'll do a press fit on there and uh, then we'll uh, we'll do the, the, the narrow end of it and uh, flip it over and finish off the, uh, the other end press this into place. Okay, so we need a 3816 thread up about oh we call it an inch and an eighth up through. So we'll true up the outside of our stainless now before we take this out of the setup.
So that's the first half. We'll flip it around, or actually we'll part it off, then we'll flip it around and uh, start work on the other half. So the plan now is to face off this half of the stainless. Uh, the actual thickness doesn't matter. Uh, it's it's a hair below half inch now, so on, we'll just face it till we get a true face, and then we'll do a radius on the corner, and then we'll work on the uh, domed center section. So to do the center section, uh, I'm going to use a piece of high speed steel, it's actually cobalt planar blade uh, that I came across somewhere along the line, and I ground a small radius into this end of it. Uh, I picked a stone that's pretty close to the diameter of the part we want to put a radius on, and uh, give it a bit of relief at the bottom, and uh, we'll probably wind up having to adjust it a little bit one way or another to get a nice even dome. So let's see how it goes. So I'm thinking about there is good. Uh, we'll align our inside edge with, as close as we can to center. We can always adjust it with our cross feed. Uh, I think I have enough clearance on the back here so that we're not going to hit the stainless, but we'll, uh, we'll certainly find out. speed try to get rid of our chatter it's kind of like parting where if you uh, don't give it enough pressure you tend to get more chatter I'm liking it. I have a small tip left in the center, but I guess we'll take care of that with a foil. So for a bit of hand traction on this knob, I think what I'm going to do is probably cut uh, six flutes around it. Uh, I've chosen a 5 8 end mill because it gives a nice size to put your finger into. The depth I'm going to determine by looks now as we get going. Yeah. So we'll 
touch off and get a zero first. in 20 thousandths at a time until I find something I like. Okay, as soon as we come up for an idea for the bottom clamp, uh, we'll do an update on this thing, I guess. For right now, I'll just use a wrench.